Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has urged business people to ensure consumer rights in the marketing system to build a society based on justice and equity. She made the call while inaugurating the three-day World Marketing Summit in Dhaka today. The summit began with an aim to build a developed economic system through expanding the market system. At the program, Sheikh Hasina stressed on streamlining the market system through establishing a balance of interest between the traders and the customers. Marketing must promote the well-being of consumers and enhance national, regional and global public good. This is where the marketing summit can add value to ensure progress in the sectors of health, education, good governance, employment and social welfare. The Prime Minister hailed the organizers for holding the summit in Dhaka. I am confident that the summit will one day emerge as a truly global platform that will offer the corporate business world and governments new perspectives and market-based solutions towards enhancing the welfare of the people and creating a better world. Secretary General of Angtad, Dr. Supachai Panich Pakri and marketing expert Philip Kotler also addressed the program. Where a company not only appeals to the mind of the customers but also to the hearts of the customers because when customers have to make a, a decision the summit will address the issues of health food security environment and education some 60 marketing personalities from across the world are participating in the summit at the three-day world marketing summit that began in Dhaka this morning dr. Philip Kotler spoke of making a world through marketing in his presentation, the Professor of International Marketing at the Kellogg School of Management took on a unique approach to marketing. A legend in the world of marketing, Dr. Philip Kotler is using marketing as a tool to change lives by using social approach. Marketing's job is to raise the standard of living so that everyone shares in the fruits of their labor and in the new technologies and appliances and so on. But the part that has been neglected by marketing has been the part where it could help people live better lives, satisfying lives, and live more healthily. And so this meeting this World Marketing Summit is bringing out a different message about marketing, its social message. And we started the idea of social marketing about 30 or 40 years ago. Social marketing wants to help people move toward behaviors which are better for them, better for their peers, and better for the society. Advice to the young generation, um is very much to learn how to work with other generations. Many companies are stepping up with ethically correct approaches for a better lifestyle for people by creating opportunities and by offering positive effect products and services. A lot of speakers have come from uh, abroad. They are actually putting the awareness and the you know enlightenment into the marketers. I think that's a great thing. From here, if local marketers can get the knowledge and go out and actually try to make, you know, implement this practice, it will be great. So the whole thing that I'm, I want to say in summary is enlightenment and enable. enable. They, the marketeers will be enabled with knowledge so that they can go and actually change the world. Yes, it is difficult to combat gambling, tobacco use, alcohol use. However, people and companies in our country do see the scope through the summit to change lives by using social marketing. Marketing of advanced technology use, proper family planning, better food, better health, education, proper environmental control are some key areas that are in focus. When the technology comes here, you will see that it benefits every single layer of society. So I think it's a myth to believe that um, the internet and digital phones and smartphones will only work for top end people. At the end of the day, the farmer sitting somewhere very far away will have access to what the prices of Paddy are um, in the Chigao market or in, 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 in Dhaka, right? And will, doesn't have to rely on the middleman anymore. So it just genuinely benefits everybody in society. With combined effort, we can also understand and adopt the social marketing concept, implement the approach, and move our nation forward. Zakir Hussain, Independent Television. 
Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has urged all to work together to make the country self-reliant. She said that no country can progress obeying directives or conditions imposed by donors. Hasina made the comment while inaugurating the Agriculture Technology Fair 2012 in Gazipur today. The Prime Minister alleged that the BNP-led four-party alliance government was too dependent on the aid extended by donors. She added that the present Awami League government wants to make the nation self-dependent. On a different note, Hasina said that her government is giving utmost importance to agricultural development. The Premier mentioned that the government aims to export agricultural products abroad after making the country self-sufficient in food production within the next year. We want to make our country self-reliant. No country can move forward maintaining conditions imposed by donors or allowing interference. We have to stand on our own feet. We have to hold our heads high. We have to make our country economically developed. Awami League Joint General Secretary Mahbubul Alam Hanif has said that the opposition is trying to save war criminals. He made the comment at a press conference in Dhaka today. The conference was organized after a meeting of the Awami League-led 14-party alliance. At the conference, Hanif said that the 14-party alliance will resist the opposition's evil attempts through a united movement. He said that the alliance will hold a series of programs in March. The programs include a mass procession on the 7th of March, human chains on the 9th and 11th of March, and a rally on the 14th of March. Hanif claimed that these programs do not count to the opposition's grand rally scheduled for the 12th of March. We announced earlier that the 14th party will hold a series of programs between mid-February and March. This program is part of that announcement. We do not believe in counter-programs or violent activities. We believe in democracy. Main opposition BNP will not announce any tougher movements from its Dhaka March program scheduled for the 12th of March. Party insiders said that they want to continue with the ongoing programs demanding restoration of the caretaker government system. However, they said that the next course of agitation programs will depend on the government's attitude towards the March 12th program. Leaders of the organization are passing hectic time holding meetings and discussions focusing on the Dhaka March program. Senior leaders split into 54 teams under the direct supervision of party chief Khaled Azia are now busy chalking out plans to make the program all out success. We will announce a sensible future roadmap for the program keeping in mind the people's sufferings. After that we expect to carry on with our peaceful agitation programs. BNP leader said that programs demanding restoration of the caretaker government system will get priority in the next phase of the agitation. From the Dhaka rally, our leader will announce a roadmap for the next phase of agitation. This grand rally is the latest of the first phase of agitation programs because we have already held programs across the country. The two BNP leaders added that the March 12 program may be organized in front of BNP central office at Noya Palton if usual venues like Palton Ground is not allocated to them. Meanwhile, BNP Acting Secretary General has claimed that the result of the Dhaka Bar Association elections proves that the people no longer have confidence in the government. Mirza Fokul Islam Alamgir made the remark when pro-BNP lawyers who won in the polls went to pay tribute at Zia Rahman's grave in the city today. In the polls held on the 25th of February, the BNP Jamat-backed panel won in 15 posts out of 25. This victory of lawyers proved that the people of Bangladesh have lost their faith in this autocratic government. I believe that those who won will play a significant role in establishing the rule of law in the country. And now for a short break, coming up afterwards. Environment Minister Hassan Mahmoud says that Bangladesh urgently needs $10 billion to battle climate change fallout. 
implementation of the Metro Rail project in Paka is being delayed due to various complexities. Would you dare to step out without makeup? Their answer? No makeup? No way. So we asked women to take the Dove 7 day test. In just a week, they could feel the Dove difference. Why? Dove is different. With one quarter moisturizing cream, it deeply nourishes for softer, smoother, more glowing skin. After 7 days, would they dare? Absolutely. Your turn. Dare to bear naturally glowing skin with Dove. Take the Dove 7 day test. Mission Group, Desh Gaurav Omshida. This is a story of two friends.